So my lesson topic this week for my students was what's included in a warm-up or what we should include in a warm-up and that brought up the discussion of what exercises I use in my warm-up. So one of the exercises I shared with them was the serpentine and I'm going to share that with you today too. So before I get started I'm going to set up some cones between the letters K and E and E and H. So this exercise has three progressions. You can do progression one, you can do all three. It really depends on where your horse is as far as level of training and where your riding's at. So I'll show you progression one. It's a very simple figure, or serpentine. I'm gonna start here at the letter A. I'm gonna do a half circle at a period of straightness. Then I'm gonna do another half circle at a period of straightness. Another half circle back to the letter C and then all the way back the rail. Super simple. It's got a couple of turns, a couple of focal points. Once I've done that a few times and it feels good, I feel like my horse is following. I feel like my horse is following the track that I set out for it. I'll move on to progression two. So progression two just builds on progression one, period of straightness. Half circle, back to your cones, period of straightness. Half circle, period of straightness. Half circle, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work my way back so I'm always on the serpentine. So again, half circle, period of straightness. Half circle, period of straightness. Half circle, period of straightness over here at A. So those periods of straightness are really important. One, because we, we need to make sure our horse is gonna travel straight when we're warming up or we've gotta fix that. Two, when we start doing this serpentine at the lope, we need that period of straightness for your flying change. Okay, or your simple change, depending on what you're doing. You need to have an area where you can break down, pick up the lope or the counter again. So once this progression two is flowing really good, I'm having no problems, I'm gonna go to progression three and just add another layer of complexity. And I'm gonna test to see if my horse is, just knows the pattern or if they're actually paying attention to where I'm steering. Okay, so again, I'll start back at A. And I'm gonna to travel to K. So every time I hit a letter on the wall, I'm gonna add a circle. So at K, I will circle should be about 10 meters and it should be round. Mine aren't just so you can see where the lines are. Then I'm gonna continue on my serpentine. I'm gonna add a quarter of a circle. I touch B, so I'm gonna make another circle here. Once I get back to B, I'll continue on with my serpentine. Same thing. I hit the wall at H, I'm gonna add another circle. I also hope yours are rounder than mine are. Continue on, <clears throat> come back to the rail at M, circle again, continue on, hit the rail at E, circle, continue on, hit the rail at F, circle, continue on. So now you've added 10 meter circles on both reins and you've changed the pattern. This Progression three should really tell you if your horse is actually following you and listening to your aids or if they just know the pattern. So that's the exercise for this week. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe.